This is all associated with a cold front that is pushing these showers along. That front passes through the state later on today, provides us a wind shift, and it's going to take the focus of our rain from our northern counties, where it is this morning, to our southern counties as we get into the afternoon. But here we are at noon. At this point, as that front is coming on through, we're really drying up a lot of this rain. So once we start seeing it moving more to the south, there's just not going to be a whole lot of activity. It's going to turn much more spotty as we head through the rest of the day noon and beyond so plan on the potential of rain if you have any outdoor activities but it's nothing that should ruin any plans and if you're hoping for a lot of rain not very optimistic that you're going to get very much if anything at all then late tonight those clouds will clear on out and we're in for a spectacular weekend but here's future cast rainfall estimates looking at either nothing to a few one hundredths of an inch. We will see some areas who pick up several tenths of an inch of rainfall. It's just not going to be enough to help those drought conditions, which have now expanded, uh, especially into the western side of the state with our update that came out yesterday. This is the latest drought monitor. And you can see those moderate drought conditions here in that lighter brown have really expanded into parts of central Indiana. We've also seen the severe drought conditions expand to our north. We're at 54 degrees right now in Indianapolis. So it's not as cool of a start. Temperatures are running 10 to 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. And on into the afternoon, we rise into the low 70s. We keep that spotty rain chance around and we turn breezy too. Even into Friday night football plans, temperatures will be cooling into the upper 50s by 10 o'clock and wouldn't rule out a few of those spotty showers in our southern counties. The weekend looks spectacular though. A mix of sun and clouds around temperatures in the low 60s for highs on both days. It will be off to a very cool start though. Sunday morning temperatures falling into the mid and upper 30s. We could see some patchy frost by early Sunday, but this is going to be a great weekend for any plans. If you don't have plans, I hope you're able to make some. That'll be more of a seasonal feel. And then we warm things right back up to well above average levels by Tuesday, 78 degrees, 79 on Wednesday. Maybe some locations hit 80 records for the date 81 and 82 degrees uh, on Halloween. That is our next chance of rain. We'll be tracking something we'll monitor as we get closer.